what's up everybody it's hey john i jabber opportunity non-stop and in today's video i will be covering this and what does this mean well i will get into it in this video so make sure you watch this whole thing and stay tuned and of course today i'll be covering the charts as well so if you want to catch that well you gotta watch the video the price of dogecoin grew 9.7 percent overnight to reach a high of 19 cents after tesla ceo elon musk changed his profile picture to show his support for the meme yes sir something like this some dogecoin glasses you know what i see baby all i see is dogecoin what do you see <laughs> musk's new profile picture is a headshot of him wearing mirrored aviators bearing the reflection of the viral shibu inu meme musk's choice of doge eyes is to signal his fidelity to dogecoin is the most likely a reference to bitcoin's hashtag laser ray until 100k meme an ongoing craze where bitcoiners add lasers to their eyes to their social media profile pictures to signal their allegiance musk Musk was briefly a part of the craze alongside MicroStrategy's Michael Saylor, who has kept the laser eyes to this day. And the reason for that is because Michael Saylor has raised over $500 million to be put into Bitcoin. So Michael Saylor is definitely a Bitcoin maxi and definitely not a Dogecoin supporter. U.S. Senator Cynthia Loomis, a Republican of Wyoming, is also a Bitcoin holder who sits on the Senate Banking Committee committee has them too red laser eyes atop her actual photo what is the laser ray and what is it supposed to signify it is supposed to signify power levels the brighter and bigger it is the more powerful they are <laughs> it's silly and fun and reminds me of dragon ball z famous quote oh my god his power level is 5000 what 5000 well, if you are a Dragon Ball Z watcher or someone in my age, you know that reference. If you don't, well, it's okay. It's not for you. Dogecoin co-creator Jackson Palmer also launched a broadside against his former project earlier this week, talking to Twitter to announce his opinion that all crypto is quote unquote an inherently right-wing hyper-capitalistic technology built primarily to amplify the wealth of his proponents through a combination of tax avoidance, diminished regulatory oversight, and artificially enforced scarcity, end quote. The vast majority of the folks buying dogecoin and bitcoin i'll speak for myself i'm not like that i have no problems paying my taxes if i can make a quick buck and a huge buck off of dogecoin or bitcoin or any cryptocurrency i am more than happy to pay my fair share to the government when jackson palmer says this i would say you know what he may be on to something musk also updated his followers about his son's dogecoin holdings which he first told the world about back in february apparently quote unquote Little X is hodling his doge like a champ. Literally never said the word sell even once. Well, I would say that's very true because Little X is pretty young. He may see daddy or Tesla, but I don't know about sell. <laughs> Bitcoin gets easier to mine. Well, it drops by 5% in the latest difficulty drop. It hasn't been this easy to mine Bitcoin since last January. Bitcoin's difficulty level, which determines how difficult it is to mine the cryptocurrency, fell by a further 4 0.81% today in its latest drop, according to data on BTC.com. It's easier to mine Bitcoin pretty much anywhere but China, where it has become decidedly more difficult after the government cracked down on the industry, forcing miners out of the country and plummeting the Bitcoin hash rate. China's crackdown, which began in June, has sunk the difficulty level by about 7.5 trillion points. That's trillion with a T, folks not billion trillion with a t on may 30th before the regulatory blitz bitcoin mining had a difficulty score of 21.05 trillion then it fell four consecutive times the worst ever streak to its current score of 13.67 trillion bitcoiners may have had to weather the storm coming from china but the network is still beginning to slowly bounce back while today's hash rate of 101.6 eh is still 99 eh off the network 
Network's former all-time high set on May 14th of this year. It looks like Bitcoin miners have survived the worst. This probably means Bitcoin will start bouncing back in the future because the mining is coming back. It's transferring from China to, say, America. I'm seeing stories about that in articles. So this is a very exciting time for people into cryptocurrency, Bitcoin mining outside of China. Let's go ahead and check out them Dogecoin charts, right? So we are on the daily time frame right here. So we can see that, yes, we're still, I would say, oversold on the daily Agora RSI type of indicator. Well, in this case, it's called the Agora Oscillator. It shows that we are sort of getting to the point of being oversold and we're still seeing money outflow. But if you look closer right here, where my mouse cursor is, you can actually see it increasing a little bit. So this means money is flowing into Dogecoin. It's not only leaving, but it's finally coming in some here. So this is actually a different pivot point. But of course, it needs to confirm, right? This is a minor twitch up. It's nothing significant. It needs to confirm. I always say that to you guys here. Yesterday on July 17, Elon Musk drew a tree and we saw Dogecoin rise about 10% for the day. In the past, we've seen Dogecoin rise 40, even 50% on a Elon Musk tweet in about half an hour time. But now we're seeing it 10%. So we're seeing about a 75% diminish in his dogecoin tweeting powers i mean is it still powerful absolutely but it was it as powerful back then no absolutely not but i'm not discounting it because guess what folks all i see is dogecoin this is all i see right here i'm clearly in a dogecoin camp i would love to give you some technical analysis wearing these amazing shades and i see dogecoin going to the moon i see dogecoin going to a dollar i see us all getting amazingly rich and that's phenomenal i took them back off and i'm seeing reality again <laughs> we can see here right yesterday's high was up to about um 25 7 and then it came back all the way down now it's back down to about the current price is 1832 so we're seeing about a 1.7 cents difference here getting dropped down here i mean is it a lot in dogecoin yes and now we are trending back down and we are selling off but we already know this pattern here right whenever elon musk tweets there are tons of folks who want to buy it and sell it off immediately so we're just seeing the frequency of buys and sells happen at a much faster rate everyone knows when elon musk tweets about dogecoin it's gonna pop up and then when it pops up everyone's gonna sell off so it's a very known pattern here so I mean, it is to no surprise. And if you're a short seller, well, you definitely want to short these pops because it's honestly easy money. I mean, by no means am I encouraging you to short. I'm just saying for a person who sees the bullish side and the bearish side, I have to give you both perspectives here because if I do not, you will not get a full picture. So let's go ahead and go into the four hour time frame to get deeper perspective here of what's going on. A more microscopic view. Extend this downward channel here. So currently we are still in the downward channel and a four hour time frame. It's very evident that we are here through the middle of the downward channel and due to the elon musk tweet and then it came back down almost immediately so this tells me the dogecoin bulls are not in control even in the slightest bit yes we had elon musk help us but honestly folks we need more than elon musk at this point we need the dogecoin community to band together and to buy and believe the dogecoin investment there are tons of folks who are here for a quick buck and they're not investors and that's okay we have plenty of day traders but the truth is is that if you want dogecoin to rise and go back to the moon well well, we're gonna need dogecoin investors and dogecoin traders for liquidity clearly we are still in a downward channel in a downward pattern here i mean without a doubt in my opinion here we are seeing the agora oscillator going into overbought territory however yet we are still seeing dogecoin plummet down that's a very interesting phenomenon here where you're seeing a inverse relationship between the chart candlesticks and the agora oscillator and of course we, if we're looking at the agora reaction ribbon it's around 20 164 here and it's still trending down and as you know this is a combination of moving averages right so if we were to see a resistance i would say around 2165 would be a very strong resistance if we get anywhere near that i would say that's probably going to be a sell point in my opinion based on what i see on the charts here not giving you financial advice and the reason for that is because the agora ribbon and the downward channel they both align so to me it's kind of like a double pattern here a double whammy so if i see it go around there i'm gonna say man if i'm day trading this that's probably where i want to let go 
don't get too greedy folks right because as you know the bears are in full control guaranteed right now there is no bullish action we see a little quick bounce fantastic but the truth is it's got a quick bounce nothing else so let's go ahead and go into the one hour time frame to see what's going on in my opinion here based on what i'm seeing here on the agora oscillator we're seeing it twice here you see you find my mouse here the cursor here right on july 15 2021 it was oversold and now it's july 18 2021 it's kind of getting oversold again but the difference is we're seeing an actual lower low once you see the hourly chart reset here so this tells me that we're still in a downward channel and a downward trend however though i will note that the difference between the previous oversold and a new oversold it's a little bit lower low but isn't that much lower though in my opinion could be signifying a potential again the keyword being a potential reversal not a guarantee however though because as you know the bears are in full control and we are still seeing a lower low pattern even though it is lower right in terms of the distance so to give you a visualization of what i mean here right the previous low was here the next low was here and the next low is here when you fall my hand here it's showing a lower and slower velocity and a distance from each um, oversold time is getting smaller and smaller so to me this looks like the beginning of a potential reversal not a guarantee folks keyword is potential and as always we need to confirm this and we need to watch this like a hawk if you want to find the bottom and currently i don't believe we're in a bottom yet but i would say we could be potentially getting close it's hey john i thank you for watching and i will catch you all on the next one